Today on Artist on Record, let's find out what Vinnie Poncia likes to listen to. I mean, he's made records with Kiss, Melissa Manchester, Ringo Starr. What's his five desert island records? All time, though. My favorite one all the time, I got te television on, I'm with my mother, and I'm looking at the Dean Martin show. Mm -hmm. And Dean Martin says, you know, we did a song last week uh, from some couple of new songwriters, and we got a lot of response, and we're going to do it again this week. weeks ago, I introduced a brand new song called What's Yesterday? And judging from all the cards and letters I got, everybody seemed to like it, so I think I'll do it again. What's Yesterday? of the song called What's Yesterday that we wrote that Dean Martin recorded and he did it twice in a week in a row on his show and he had that great show, you know, where he used to sit down with the girls and all that. My wow. mother was, I mean, yes. everything that I ever did, that was like, she couldn't believe you. Dean Martin is singing your song. She couldn't believe that. I mean, forget wow. about Elvis Presley and everything. You know, and he gave it a little introduction. This is a song that we did last week. We're going to do it again for you. It's a new song called What's Yesterday. And to this day, I'll, I'll never forget that look on her face. So you're sitting with your mom. And just... <laughs> Dean Martin. <laughs> of that, all people, you know. That is crazy. I know. It's great. Me and Peter. Peter and I wrote that. Peter Anders and I wrote Totally what did your mom say when she heard that and when she seen that, huh? What did she say? Well, I mean, she went through all my stuff, early stuff with, you know, all the career and all what's, you know, all the different records and stuff. But that one time, yeah. that was different. <laughs> Dean Martin, forget about anybody. <laughs> Dean Martin is singing one of my son's songs. You know, that's like Frank Sinatra, you know. <laughs> that's, that's one of those things where, you know what, it's a big, that's a big thing. Sinatra, Dean Martin, you know, th right. those are the big ones over there. We had a few of Lou Rawls did some of our stuff too. One of Peter my favorites. Peter Anders and a great songwriter, singer, songwriter that we worked together. We had a whole 50 year anniversary together. Really, really inspired me. He was a great lead singer. We did a lot of stuff together. Yeah. Early yeah. stuff, you know, for, for the trade winds, the innocents, the critters we produced together. But... So you did okay. You did okay, Vinny, huh? You I know. know. <laughs> and when you well, think about I, it, like I, I tell my girl Ann that all the time. She looks at me. She said, you got? I said, "Listen, I used to be somebody. You know, I didn't throw that garbage out. <laughs> Clean the dishes, Vinny. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you're talking to? I used to be somebody. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Vinny, you know what? Time. This is a great girl. This this has been a fun conversation. I'm okay. going to ask you a personal question now. Okay. Don't get offended. It's going to be tough. You have to give me what five top of your vinyl albums that mean something to you. Not something that you worked on, just maybe something that, that you love. If you're on a desert island, these are the five albums that I'm going to bring with me. This, okay. You know, uh, Silly Dan Asia. Ray Charles, a genius hits the road. Uh, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, was it on the with the most? Houses of the Holy with the, with the, of the, with the kids. Okay. Uh, Brian Wilson, Pet Sounds. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Obviously, uh, Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> and also the four freshmen, uh, four freshmen, uh, which I was greatly influenced by the four freshmen, as was uh, Brian Wilson. I that was one of the first things that I, that's how I started listening to home. I was like 12, 13 years old. My brother-in-law introduced me to jazz. The first thing I started, he let me play with the four freshmen. I could not get over how well, how well they sang. <clears throat> one of the freshman albums. Uh, God, I get Stevie won the talking book. I mean, I, it would be more than five. It's got to be more than five, but we can, <laughs> but, but. But you know what, the four I, freshmen. I, four freshmen, I was I loved listening to that. I could listen to that now. I could listen to early Ray Charles too, you know, all that stuff. But okay. The but the five, the that'll be it. I'll, I'll make the number one is the four freshmen. That's the one that's, that touched your heart and that made you yeah, who you early are. Early on, you know, early. when I was like 12 or 13, the that's, four freshmen, I it. said, you know, I, I'd love to be able to do that. And then, and then that's it. That it is it. That That made Vinny and yeah. Vinny, 
you made a lot of hits and a lot of people happy. You know, you probably made a lot of babies to your music too. So anybody who's watching with their babies, uh -oh. think Vinny. I wasn't even in town. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> that was the wonderful Mr. Vinny Ponce here. Make sure you subscribe and click on the box you see right here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later. Who loves you, baby? We do.